one to predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's a heart, there's a heart, a hand to hold on to. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's a face of somebody who needs you. Everywhere. Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, January 22nd. I'm Madison Yarnell. And I'm Stella Waller. And here's what's going on at BHS. Congratulations to the BHS Winter Guard who competed at the IHS CGA competition at Plainfield on Saturday. The dogs finished in first place in the Open Guard category. Great job. It is now scheduling season. All students currently in grades 9, 10, and 11, please be on the lookout for a Schoology message from your counselor. You will receive a course selection worksheet for your grade and directions explaining how to log into PowerSchool and request your courses for next year. The scheduling quarter opened on Friday, January 12th and will be open through today. Be sure to get your requests in the system as soon as possible. The Leaders of Tomorrow will once again be hosting Dunbar Cafe, their annual Black History Month event. This event celebrates black history and black culture by showcasing our students' talents. If you're interested in performing or helping backstage, auditions are on Thursday, January 25th after school in the LGI. Please fill out an audition form and select an audition time on Student Square. The Philosophy Group will be meeting Tuesday, January 23rd from 3 to 4 p.m. in room A1409. Please see Mr. Sloan if you have any questions. Show your support for the speech and debate team by going to Chick-fil-A this Wednesday, January 24th. Show this flyer to your cashier when you go and 20% of your purchase will go to the team. So be sure to get a hard copy flyer or take a picture. They hope to see you there. On Tuesday, January 30th, BHS will be hosting a FAFSA completion help night. Seniors and families are encouraged to attend for free, helping completing this crucial financial aid form. Experts from InvestEd will help you file the FAFSA with confidence while avoiding common mistakes. Families may come in in between 3.30 and 7.30 p.m. for assistance. It will take place in the VHS cafeteria and entrance is through door 6. This is not a presentation, but rather a time for students and families to receive assistance with their FAFSA. Laptops will be available for this event. Be sure to check out Schoology for information from Mrs. Martin on the FAFSA. The BHS Theater Department is hosting a fairy tale themed kids camp on Saturday, February 3rd. You can find more information on the event by scanning the QR code on the screen or contacting Ms. Keeler with any questions. French Club will be celebrating the French holiday of Chandelier on Thursday, January 25th from 3 to 3.45 in Miss Fritz Food Lab, room C1410. They will be making and eating crepes to celebrate. You must be a paid dues member and sign up to bring a topping outside of Madame Condon's room B1410 before the meeting. Students, the BHS Cafe will begin having sushi in the merchandiser at the rotation station starting today. They hope you enjoy this new addition to the lunchroom. So, do you know anything about Winter Guard? Not really. Well, Keegan Fudge is here to tell us what it's all about. Hey BHS, the Winter Guard season started some time ago and I believe that we're overdue for seeing what the hard work they do is all about. We definitely want to compete this season, but we also want to um, work together as a team and have fun ultimately. Overall, grow as a team and um, do well this season. So. Some may wonder how Winter Guard is different to regular Color Guard. Well, one, Winter Guard is different in the way of it being during the winter, and the fact that you are placed somewhere due to your particular skill set. I started off in marching band, but then I joined the Winter Guard because I thought it would be an extra activity. My mom was a clarinet when she was in high school, so it was something that was expected of me to be either in band or in guard, and I chose performing arts. It's like a second family kind of. We all work together and we all talk and we're friends outside of guard, so it's really just special. It's a family and a home, and it's something that I found my passion in that I will continue to do on past high school. Our show this year is kind of mysterious and more eerie. It's not dark, but it's more of like mature than our last shows that we've had. It doesn't really have a set like theme yet we're kind of developing that as we go you kind of just have to watch it it's something that we want the audience to draw attention to and hopefully the judges will like it as well thanks to the winter guard for clearing things up on what their goals are and good luck to them as the season continues keegan fudge bhs tv thanks keegan it's good to know that winter guard is more than just color guard in the winter now it's time for sports hey clark what do you have for us today hey all it was a very exciting weekend for our bhs winter athletes with lots going on so let's get to it. Let's get things started with the girls basketball team who had a thrilling game on Friday against Westfield. It was an epic HCC battle that was close the entire way. The dogs were trailing late, but Avery Gordon was able to tie things up at 54 to send the game to overtime. 
with the game tied at 57 and time winding down, Gordon was able to grab an offensive rebound and just got the final shot off in time to give the Dogs a 59-57 win. Gordon had a career night, finishing with 41 points. She also had 12 rebounds in the game. Emma Hendricks had 12 assists on the night to help the Dogs to victory. It was a great way to end senior night, and big thanks to our four seniors, Hendricks, Macy Toomey, Gloria Snowden, and Mayana Bullock for their dedication and commitment to the program over the last four years. The dogs were right back at it on Saturday when they hosted Terre Haute North. It was all dogs in this one, and they came away with a 59-19 win. Avery Gordon again led the dogs with 17 points and 10 rebounds. Delaney Steers had 12 points and 2 rebounds for the dogs, and Gloria Snowden had 8 points and 7 rebounds. The dogs will conclude the regular season this Friday night when they head to Zionsville. Good luck. The IHSAA sectional draw was last weekend, and the dogs now know who they will play. Brownsburg will take on the home team, Avon, in the first game on Tuesday night, January 30th. The winner of that game will advance to take on Plainfield in the semifinals. On the other side of the bracket, Terre Haute North and Terre Haute South will face each other in the first semifinal on Friday night, February 2nd. All games will be played at Avon this year. The boys basketball team was also very busy over the weekend, starting with Westfield on Friday night. The dogs were hosting an undefeated Shamrocks team who came in with a record of 11-0. Brownsburg got off to a great start and played outstanding defense all night to make things hard for the Rocks. The Dogs led the entire way and held on for a 62-56 win. Grant Poreff had a great night, scoring 24 points, grabbing 7 rebounds, and dishing 4 assists. He also drew 2 charges. Spencer Poreff added 10 points and 6 rebounds, while Jordan Lomax had 8 points and 2 rebounds. J.D. Lynch had 8 points, including a couple of 3-pointers, along with an assist. Nice job, guys. On Saturday, the guys hosted Carmel. It was a close game throughout, but in the end, the Greyhounds edged out the dogs 41-39. Jordan Lomax led the dogs with 20 points and 5 rebounds. Grant Porath had 6 points and 3 rebounds, and Brendan Latimer had 6 points. J.D. Lynch, as well, added 3 points. The guys are back in action on Friday in a doubleheader at Zionsville with the girls. Good luck. On Saturday, the JV wrestling team headed up to the JV Dual State Championships and came home with a first place finish. That's three years in a row for our JV wrestling team. Nice job, guys. Congrats to both the girls and boys club bowling teams who placed second in regionals over the weekend and both will be moving on to semi-state this Saturday. Good luck. Good luck to all of our teams in action this week. That's it for Sports Today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Clark. That's all we got for you today, VHS. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you on Wednesday.